Hey, welcome back to Clean Cut, where we can talk about the truth about just about anything, as long as we use logic and common sense. This season, we're taking a closer look at the temptations that people have to see if we can figure out why we're tempted to commit sins. People generally commit sins because they're after something they want, and they sin in an attempt to get it. So, we're looking over the things people want. Today, knowledge. Once again, we'll start out by defining what we mean by knowledge. Definition 1a. The fact or condition of knowing something with familiarity gained through experience or association. Now, of course, knowledge itself is an important thing for us to have. In fact, God said in the writings of the prophet Hosea, My people have been silent, because they had no knowledge. Because thou hast rejected knowledge, I will reject thee. Hosea 4, 6a. So we should pursue knowledge, and in particular, truthful knowledge, that helps us to grow in our understanding of God and his plan. However, there are certain kinds of knowledge that are much better to pursue than others. For the rest, brethren, whatsoever things are true, whatsoever modest, whatsoever just, whatsoever holy, whatsoever lovely, whatsoever of good fame, if there be any virtue, if any praise of discipline, think on these things. Philippians 4, 8. There's even a type of knowledge that's specifically about being able to tell good from evil, wisdom. Give therefore to thy servant an understanding heart, to judge thy people, and discern between good and evil. For who shall be able to judge this people, thy people which is so numerous? And the word was pleasing to the Lord that Solomon had asked such a thing. And the Lord said to Solomon, Because, because thou, thou hast, hast asked this thing, thing and, and hast not asked for thyself long life or riches, nor the lives of thy enemies, but hast asked for thyself wisdom to discern judgment, behold, I have done for thee according to thy words. I have given thee a wise and understanding heart, insomuch that there hath been no one like thee before thee, nor shall arise after thee. 1 Kings 4, 9-12 The recommendations of both wisdom and knowledge in the scriptures, and the various means suggested for acquiring them, are numerous. Clearly, people were meant to learn, and God to teach. However, there are times when certain kinds of knowledge aren't meant to be known by us yet. The danger lies in becoming obsessed with gaining that knowledge and being willing to sin to obtain it. And Saul said to his servants, Seek me a woman that hath a divining spirit, and I will go to her, and inquire by her. And his servants said to him, There is a woman that hath a divining spirit at Endor. And the woman said to him, Behold, Thou knowest all that Saul hath done, and how he hath rooted out the magicians and soothsayers from the land. Why then dost thou lay a snare for my life, to cause me to be put to death? And Saul swore unto her by the Lord, saying, As the Lord liveth, there shall no evil happen to thee for this thing. 1 Samuel 28, 7, 9, and 10 King Saul, the first king of Israel, desperate to learn how to defeat the army of the Philistines, consults a witch at Endor, and in response. And Samuel said to Saul, Why hast thou disturbed my rest, that I should be brought up? And Saul said, I am in great distress, for the Philistines fight against me, and God is departed from me, and would not hear me, neither by the hand of prophets nor by dreams. Therefore I have called thee, that thou mayest shew me what I shall do. And Samuel said, Why askest thou me, seeing the Lord has departed from thee, and is gone over to thy rival? For the Lord will do to thee as he spoke to me, and he will rend thy kingdom out of thy hand, and will give it to thy neighbor David. 1 Samuel 28, 15-17 The answer Saul receives is a prophecy of doom, which does ultimately come to pass. Samuel tells Saul that he should have accepted what God had told him before this. We should never disobey God, no matter what kind of knowledge we're planning to gain by doing so. Even in heaven, the infinity of God's nature, goodness, and love will always dwarf the capacity of our thoughts. But God has always meant for us to learn from him and about him. We just need to be careful and not get carried away, sinning to obtain secret knowledge. There are other temptations associated with having knowledge, but those are to do with how we use the knowledge and who we share it with. 
We can give in to temptation by being unwilling to share good knowledge with people who need it and can benefit from it. Or we can give in by being too eager to share dangerous knowledge with people who have no right to it and will only use it for evil, like telling a Nazi soldier where the Jews are hiding. So, knowledge is generally a good thing to be tempted by, but it is possible to go overboard in our efforts to acquire it and end up sinning to try to learn things we shouldn't, or using bad judgment in determining whether to share our knowledge with others. Next time, The Temptation of Excitement. That's all for now, so keep asking questions, and thanks for watching.